more slide and architecture, the bootstrap. Uh, in the ASM environment, we have three process memory structures as the CSSD, the ASM instance, the RDBMS instance. It's probably going to be easiest if we look at these straight from the operating system side. Uh, every ASM environment requires a cluster synchronization services daemon. This is where some of the confusion comes, I think, with whether ASM works single instance. Even if you are running single instance, you need a CSSD. With earlier releases, it was shipped well, as part of the RDBMS executables. Now it's shipped, of course, as grid infrastructure. So if you look at the grid infrastructure, oops, CTL, start. we see that to use ASM, you must have your CSSD, your cluster synchronization services running. And there it is, it's running, it's running stable, no problem at all. And this is a single instance environment, by the way, this is not a cluster. The second structure, the ASM instance. We need an ASM instance. And there's my ASM instance. Yes, it's running, no problem at all. And then we need the RDBMS instances, of which you might have many. Remember, many RDBMS instances can be sharing storage served out by one ASM instance. And there's my one ASM instance database called Oracle running on this environment. So these three structures need to be there. In many ways, the ASM instance is just an instance like any other. If we look at the processes that we all know and love. You know, we've got a PMON, you know, we've got LogWriter, you know, we've got the normal processes. In many ways, it's an instance like any other, but of course, it does have a few extra processes. So the bootstrap, ASM starts up and ASM mounts the disk groups. Right. So how does it mount a disk group? Well, looking at it, if I just connect, and then we'll see some idea of what disk groups we've got. So my ASM instance has mounted or located and made available at the moment two disk groups, one called CW files, one called my group. When it mounts a disk group, it registers them with the CSSD. Basically all it says is, hey, my name is ASM, whatever the instance happens to be called, and these are the disk groups I'm offering out. Then, so the ASM registers itself into disk groups with the cluster synchronization services daemon. How does it find it? Platform specific location, pa platform specific mechanism based on IPC. It finds the CSSD. Then, when the RDBMS starts up, if the RDBMS wants to get to an ASM file such as that, or that, what does it do? Well, naming convention, it goes to the cluster synchronization services daemon and asks the CSSD. Who is managing the group? My group. Who is managing the group? CW files. And the CSSD from its register replies, oh, those are being managed by this thing, the instance called plus ASM. So the CSSD passes to the RDBMS instance the information needed to locate the ASM instance. So CSSD connects RDBMS to ASM. The RDBMS then asks ASM, well, you're managing this disk group called CW files, where is this file? And ASM says, oh, this file's over here. It replies with the physical location to the file in the form of file extent maps. So that's your bootstrap. ASM registers groups with CSSD. CSSD then connects RDBMS on demand to ASM. ASM sets up the connections between RDBMS and files. Now, John. A couple of things are happening out here on our side of the fence. Um, uh, the uh, 12C, a uh, um, couple people uh, notice you seem to be logging into not 11. Oh, <laughs> oh right. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, um, I won't be doing this anymore, I promise. Um, now, we are, on the, we are on the 12C beta testing program. And I happen to be using it here. Um, but don't worry, I'm not going to go through anything that isn't on public release. So everything I will talk about, I'm going to talk about, and have mentioned so far, is available with 11G. Um, something is not with 10, but everything is 11. If I do anything on 12C, forget it. No, that's just, oh yeah, there it is. No, that's uh, that's just the environment I happen to be using. Very cool. Not at all, and very cool to uh, to highlight that. Yeah, Scobelders and John are on the 12C beta pro testing program. Uh, one question on that, John, uh, in from the in from the student uh, 
base is uh, is sys asm user new with 12c has that always been around that came in with 11 in fact it's it's to do with security. When ASM first came in with version 10, uh, there were some distinct security issues. And it was possible, for instance, if multiple databases were sharing one ASM instance, it was possible for the DBA of one instance to impact on another database. Um, accidentally, indeed, but definitely there were security issues. With 11.1, .1, this new privilege, SysASM was introduced, 11.1. Uh, which helped a lot with sorting out security issues. Um, but with 11.1, .1, SysASM <laughs> was there, but only semantically. It wasn't actually implemented. It was the same as SysDBA. With 11.2, SysASM is the real thing. And if, for example, you connect slash SysDBA, oops, so I'm connecting to the ASM instance. I haven't actually done this test on. 12C, it'll be interesting to see if it happens. If I try to terminate it, I can't. With 10G or 11.1, .1, that would have succeeded. So this is part of the security that makes the system, it was always usable, but makes it in some ways much safer to use. Yeah. 